I'm going to show you how to show and hide stuff using JavaScript. So I have a basic HTML document here. And uh, you can see up here I have my styles. Uh, so my CSS. And I have one class. I'm just going to make text red. I have one class. It's going to say, hey, display this, none. So it's going to not show anything. I have one class, show. And uh, it says display, turn it back to a block display. And if you want to know more about the CSS display, you could Google that and go to like Mozilla Developers Network or something and read about it. Um, and then down here, my body, I have three divs. And, uh, and I thought maybe it'd just help you to see what is going to happen when we run this. All right? So we have a button. It's toggling something to show and not show. So that's what we're trying to build. So we have three divs, and we're showing and hiding this div right here in the middle. And so originally, I'm just going to apply a class of red to it, and I gave it the ID of target so that I could go down to my JavaScript and, uh, you know, be able to identify it. Create a button, and I give it the ID of toggle. So in JavaScript, I'm going to create a variable uh, and call it button, and I'm going to have that uh, reference. Um, get element by ID toggle, it's going to reference this button I created up here. So I could have called this whatever I want. I could have called this btn thing to click or whatever. But I'm just calling it button. And uh, and so the important thing here is like this variable is referencing this button right there that's created. And then uh, the target is what I want to show or not show. And so I'm going to uh, come up here and, and get that. And so the, the variable names here are whatever. They don't have to be called that. They can be called anything. So uh, this references this entire div because I'm getting element by ID, and the ID is target. So I'm getting this whole element here, and I'm saying, hey, I'm referencing it with this variable name. So now I could reference it in my JavaScript code. I'm going to create another Boolean variable and just set it equals to true, and that will be my toggle. I'm going to create a function, display toggle, takes no parameters or arguments, and, uh, and this function has if else logic in it. And so if it's true, which will be the first time, and since we're defaulting to showing this just right out of the gates, uh, you can see neither hide nor show is applied to this. So we're defaulting to show it. It's already showing, and Boolean's true. So since Boolean's true, we're going to use target, which is this, right? So the div we targeted right here is uh, target. We're going to set the attribute of class, and we're going to set it equal to hide. And when we hide it, it'll give it this class, display none. And, uh, and then it'll also set the Boolean to false. So if we click the button again, it'll come back here and say, hey, if uh, false, and that's going to evaluate as false. And so it, will do, it won't do this part, which is what would happen if it's true. It'll do the else. And uh, target dot set attribute. We're going to set the class of this div to both red, so the text will be red, and also show, so the display is block. And uh, then change the boolean back to true. So next time we run it, it runs this, and then it just keeps going back and forth between those two every time we click the button. And so now I just need to add an event listener to the button, and it's going to be you know so button is the variable name. And, uh, and the event listener is going to listen for click, and when it gets clicked, it's going to run the display toggle function. And I don't know what the hell that does, but I saw it in an example I was looking at, so I included it. We can probably dig it up and find out, but I'll leave that up to you. All right, let's run it and look at the next thing that's cool to look at, which is I'll run it straight from here so you can see. Right click, inspect element. And I like this little trick. You can hold down Alt on your keyboard, and it expands the entire tree, all of your HTML, as opposed to having to click each of these individually, holding down Alt. And uh, here you can see this is the div I'm targeting. And at first, it's totally shown up as a class of red. And I click this and watch the watch the class change. Class went to hide, and you know you no longer see it up there. And hide class means display none. Right, so that's the CSS property, so it's not showing. And I click it again, and it gives me the class of red and show. Right, So display is now block, and the color is red, so it shows. And that just goes back and forth right there, changing my DOM 
document object model, changing it with JavaScript to have a certain element on the page showing high. Pretty cool.